to a devastating case right here at home. Brand new details in the case of a murdered Maryland judge and the man accused of killing him. Yeah, we've been pushing for answers in this story ever since the judge was gunned down at his Hagerstown, Hagerstown home last week. Tonight we're learning more about the investigation and what happened in Judge Andrew Wilkinson's courtroom just hours before he was killed. Our Casey Nolan is here with us now, and Casey, we're also hearing from the judge's family for the first time, right? Yeah, the wife said that, she, that their family's touched by what she called overwhelming response from people across their community, all the way up to Maryland Governor Wes Moore. Washington County Judge Andrew Wilkinson's wife, Stephanie, also said in a statement today that, quote, this is such an unexpected loss to us, and words do not exist to describe the amazing person Drew was. She went on to thank law enforcement agencies who are still working to find her husband's alleged killer, Pedro Argote. So we know that the same day Judge Wilkinson was shot and killed, uh, the judge ruled against Argote right. in a divorce and a child custody case, but we're learning more about that day too. We are. In fact, we've learned that he called the courthouse that day, said he had a headache and didn't go to that hearing that mm. day. Judge Wilkinson said he wasn't sure he believed that, went ahead without him. And this is all according to an audio recording of the proceedings obtained by the Associated Press. And in the hearing, Argote's adult daughter gave an emotional testimony that she spent most of her teenage years confined to her room and under surveillance. She said her dad had the house wired with cameras and she said he beat her. Argote's wife said he carried a gun and kept her under surveillance. She said he even stuffed a sock in their crying baby's mouth. Judge Wilkinson said the way Argote treated his family was quote shocking and abusive in multiple ways. He ruled in the wife's favor, including full custody of their three younger children. Police say later that day, Argote followed the judge home, shot and killed mm. him in his driveway with his wife and son at home at the time. Shocking is right. That was mm -hmm. certainly tough to hear. And we know that Argote still hasn't been found. Have police giving you any update on this? Correct. They have not. They did find his car. They have not found him. The investigators told us tonight that they no longer believe Argote is in Washington County, but they are still asking for the public's help in finding him. And they're telling people to stay away from him. If they see him, just call 911. Do not approach. Mm -hmm. It sounds like this family was under siege from the person yes. who was supposed to love them. Let's only hope police can find him soon. Yeah. Thanks, Case. Yeah.